Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, that means it's market outlook time. Let's take a look ahead at this week, what could be happening in FIFA 21 on the market and with content. Of course, we are in the middle of the What If promo with Team 1 in packs. We've got Man of the Match items that are out of packs until Wednesday, I believe. We have got, of course, the objectives going on. Road to the final stuff is being talked about. And, of course, we still have Ronaldo and Rashford in Team of the Week. We get upgrade pack SBCs yesterday with an 85 times 5 and an 81 plus player pick. The player picks have returned and they are OP just like they were during Future Stars. So a lot of the stuff we're going to talk about today kind of relates to SBCs and how I think this is going to affect the market because, again, people are going to remember how good it was during Future Stars and they're going to spam these picks. I mean, I've done, like, I think nine of them already tonight. I've got a Courtois. I've got a couple informs, a couple higher-rated cards, a du some duplicates. I've started crafting El Sharawi. So there are plenty of SBCs out that you can craft right now too, and that makes people want to do these player picks even more. But specifically with... The special cards that are in packs, it's going to be another time where people are not going to be able to contain themselves and they're going to want to open packs to get these what if cards, of course, to get these man of the match items. You have a special version of Mbappe and Ronaldo in the game right now, whether team of the week or um, man of the match items. But also we have a potential big time player of the month SBC coming this week because the voting has closed on La Liga player of the month. So I'll talk about that and potentially a POTM Messi in a little bit but again just to revisit what this what if promo is about you know i would be i would be expecting another sbc card or two for an, a legit what if player at some point this week i would say maybe two of them right we already had the sbc rafinha i would expect probably one or two more no probably not another objective until next friday uh with team two coming out because again since this does say team one right here that makes us think that we will be getting a team two released next week so it looks like this could be a two-week promo per usual this year which is what they it's been what they like to do is these two-week promos but already this week we're getting our first guaranteed what if upgrade we might be getting more though because of the amount of goals that were scored in some games earlier this weekend and of course when it's a defender with a clean sheet opportunities there are a couple midweek games so i want to talk about these what if cards their prices from yesterday on sunday because with that 85 times 5 pack and the upgrade packs being out that's draining a lot of coins on the off of the market and it made some cards actually panic and uh, people panic sell and some cards prices dropped I mean, you can see that I have not that many coins right now. I haven't actually, I have actually invested in a lot of these what if cards because these are live items that a lot of people want to use and their prices are way down. I'll be completely honest. And these guys have crazy price fluctuation swings. And I think that continues throughout this week, this week as players play games, of course, and as people buy back the cards that are even closer to their upgrade, like Sancho and Odegaard, both Arsenal and Dortmund are on three goals. Uh, all it could take is one more game with three goals and boom, they're due the upgrade. So there's potential for these cards to get upgraded this week, even more of them, right? We have midweek games. I want to look at those right now. Smalling is the one that I'm looking at the most. He is down 100K from where he was being almost extinct. Wednesday of this week, you have more league games for these cards. You have Sassuolo for the objective Caputo. You have got Fiorentina versus Roma, and you've got Milan Udinese. And then in the league one, we've got Nice, who of course is the uh, Le Milou player, potentially getting an upgrade and going to all Hullet Gang stats. And then also you have Olympic Lyon playing so that Marcelo will be in action. So we have a few cards that will be in action on Wednesday. And then one card on Wednesday will be Conte hopefully, or maybe, scoring goals against Liverpool to potentially get him closer to being a 93-rated, uh, basically almost a team of the year card. So um, some of the cards don't play until the weekend, right? Like Sevilla, Papu Gomez, they play midweek in a cup game, but that doesn't count for these upgrades because it's only league games that counts. Jovic is not playing until the weekend. But again, a lot of these cards have dropped off, and depending on what the content is this week, SBC-wise, I think you will see them rise and back up into the first couple days this week. That's why I've invested in a few of these guys, and I basically bought the ones that have midweek games. I'm also trying to flip a Sancho uh, at the moment right now. But again, with what's going on this week, regardless of you know what SBCs that we get, potentially I see this SBC being the problem, this 81 plus player pick, because even today when it came out, the weekend league sell-off was happening, right? But you saw major drop-offs on cards around the entire game, even gold cards, right? 
People sold a lot of stuff today to do that double, to do that five times 85. Look at Varane. He was 100,000 coins, and then boom, the SBC comes out. He's down to 83K, even dropped to 80,000 coins. He has now bounced back a bit, but you saw a lot of cards drop on the market. In packs, out of packs, literally everything. This Mbappe is very rare and fluctuates a ton. He was down at 2.37. He's now at 2.45. This Giroud is a discard. You know what? Just buy one, chuck it in the club, to be honest with you. Uh, Kabak is a discard. That's another one. Just buy it, chuck it in the club. Um, but I think this week, if we're looking at actual cards on the market, I'm just worried that this market is going to continue to like just how we saw it happen after Future Stars, teams one and two, just kind of continue to slide downwards as people submit a lot of their coins into these upgrade picks, these upgrade packs and are spending their coins on SBCs, right? Because SBC fodder is still very, very expensive. I heard that there are some crazy high prices on some of these higher rated cards. 86s are 30K plus. That's nuts. Some people were saying that like Sancho is 35, 36,000 coins. Insignia is like 35, 36K. That is unbelievably expensive for this fodder right now. And again, this is just we're getting to the point where, yes, it's getting out of hand, but EA can keep pushing the envelope, and they know people will continue to pay more and more for this fodder. Look at Informs, for goodness sakes. Angelino 83, 34,000 coins. Uh, this Shaw is 34K. Like, this Muslera is 29,000 coins. Gabriel Paulista, 38K. Perrine, 39,000 coins. This current team of the week that is in packs is even crazy expensive right now, except for Hollard. He was a bit over-invested in. But these guys are expensive, right? The fodder ones, Romero, 30K for the Lynx, but uh, Unis, 22K, a bit overinvested too. But these informs, uh, I think we are we can't be too far off from EA giving us a tradable team of the week SBC that would some somehow supply informs tradable on the market because some of the stuff has gotten really expensive. But also if I'm from EA's perspective, I think about it as, you know, maybe I don't supply that because people are willing to pay that much for informs. So why would I supply them on the market if um, they'll continue to pay that much? You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm just a little bit worried about the market in this week, this week for that manner that a lot of people are going to be submitting their coins away into these SBCs, these player pick packs. And that's going to be the main thing this week. And that's why I'm talking about it a lot is because that's that's going to be the focus for almost everyone. That's what everybody's going to want to get involved with. That's what everybody is going to want to be doing with their coins uh, and be just that's what's to do right now on the menus. Unless you're grinding the icon swaps, unless you're playing games for objectives, it's either that or, of course, people like to do packs better. So that's what you're going to see a lot of this week, at least for the first, first few days when the man of the match cards are in packs as well. Now, I mentioned a couple other SBCs that could come out, maybe some more what-if players, a couple player SBCs or so. We don't have uh, UCL content this week. There's no games. Those aren't until later in March. Um, but there is potential for a big-time POTM, and I want to talk about that because SBC fodder is very expensive. But imagine a player of the month, Messi. And right now, the uh, La Liga player of the month voting was announced a couple days ago, I think on the 24th. And is now the 29th, and this is closed, right? This voting is closed, and this month, runaway, statistically, the leader for how, who was the best player in the La Liga this past month in February, it has to be Messi. Five goals, seven or five games, seven goals, one assist. Isak had six goals, um, and then Jeremy Run with four goals. But with the combination of the actual, like I'm sure the managers vote. Uh, or whoever votes on the player of the month, like the committee for La Liga, and then the popular fan vote, I think Messi takes this. I really think that we might see a Messi player of the month SBC this week. I also believe there is the El Nezri player of the month SBC, which expires pretty soon. But since that voting is closed, that tells me that Messi POTM should be coming this week. Because usually after the voting closes, it's not too much longer than a few days after it gets dropped. So sometimes these La Liga POTMs have been, you know, uh, overlapping by a couple days. I do think that's a possibility. This one might still be out when Messi is announced, but we might see a Messi POTM. And what would Messi's card be rated if he had a player of the month? 
Uh, if, I think Messi's play of the month would be a 96. They'd probably do a plus one on this 95 rated team of the group stage. So definitely keep an eye on Messi's special cards this week. 1.68 is down. This guy was 1.8 on the weekend. So word might be getting around that uh, he potentially is getting a player of the month. So be careful if you have any Messi informs. But in all reality, the Messi player of the month SBC, it's going to be expensive. It has to be, right? EA, when it comes to these big, like top 10 players in the world, I mean, we've had some really good value player of the month SBCs this year, right? Joao Felix, even Holland, after looking at his cards now, his player of the month SBC is looking to be pretty good value. You know, um, there's a couple other ones that were out as well that were good value. But when it comes to like the um, SBCs of like Neymar last year or Messi uh, last year as well, both with two player of the months, I honestly think that this Messi player of the month SBC is going to be somewhere around like 3 million coins, 2.75 to 3 million coins, which for a plus one on Messi, if it's anywhere below like that 2 to 2.5 threshold, then I would say, hey, it's it's possibly doable if you're going to have him in your team for the rest of the year this year. And if he gets 90 pace, I feel like they got to give him a plus two pace here. If they're going to make it doable, if they're going to want to make it people do the SBC and try to encourage people to do it, they need to give him 90 pace on that brand new card and, of course, 70 physical. But um, with the team of the year being like 4.6, uh, if they make it a center forward and they make it 96 rated, they give him 90 pace. You know, it's going to be expensive regardless, though, because of how expensive SBC fodder is. I'm just worried that EA is going to make it outrageous. And then if you were planning on doing that POTM Messi, uh, he would be just way, way, way too expensive. So that's one thing I'm kind of looking out for. Do you really want to trade fodder this week? Honestly, if you're good at fluctuation trading SBC fodder on the daily, um, you know, some days we'll get some supply SBCs, you'll see them drop. And then the next day we'll get some sort of like upgrade pack or some sort of um, player SBC that maybe drives up the demand. You can absolutely do that this week because again, what people are doing this week is they're opening upgrade packs as well. I mean, you have some promo cards. As Stoopy Non is one of the cheapest 86 rated cards. That is nuts. Toko Kami, one of the cheapest, right? Tadic. That might have been... Was this an SBC? Uh, oh, that's a Road to the Final Tadic, which is still a live card, by the way. Still a live item getting upgraded in Europa League. One of the cheapest 86 rated cards. That's nuts. And again, with people doing these player pick packs, they're going to have halfway full clubs of fodder, and they're going to go and try to, you know, craft icon packs. I, I specifically think that EA is setting us up great this week for more icon SBCs, right? And hopefully if they're dropping icon SBCs, these are expiring uh, t today on Monday. If they're dropping icon SBCs, I really, really hope and pray that these are prime icon moment SBCs. EA, if you're listening, since you have released moments, okay, these primes are no longer the best version for like any of these cards that are in the game. Drop moments SBCs please. And with that possibility coming, which, you know, it'll happen sooner or later, you have a lot of people theorizing about icons being required for those SBCs. So if we take a look really quick, what are the cheapest icons on the market? I've been talking about this. I've mentioned it a couple times. Uh, it looks like the cheapest icons on the game are still chilling around 150, 160,000 coins. So if you can find any like bids or snipes here to get one in like the 140s, it's honestly low key, not a bad buy because especially as we get into the second half of this year, um, a lot of people have icons in the club, but this is also going to rise purely off of the requirement. Like when they require icons for SBCs, you're probably going to see people go out and buy some of these. So, you know, I wouldn't go crazy on this, but you know, if you want to buy one, chuck it in your club as like a, a discard icon investment, if you will. There, I think in the next couple of weeks, we should see moments SBCs that might require actual icon cards coming out in FIFA. So I know we had that mid prime upgrade that went away. I expect that to come back at some point this week because EA know they'll be able to drain some coins from fodder with that. But if you're trading this week, right? We talked about SBCs. Let's talk about trading for a bit. Um, I think if you're trading this week, your out of pack specials are going to be the best. It's going to be, you know, kind of how we had that slower week. Like the like we we traded a lot during the second week of future stars when there was not a lot of um, activity going on in the market, but uh, you can still trade cards, right? This Ronaldinho was like 1.5 flat today on not just a bid, but on a buy it now. He fluctuated up. Prime icon moments I'm low-key interested in because yes, they are down a lot. They had a lot of supply, especially the second set. 
and some of these guys have gotten cheap. But players are, in FIFA are going to go out and try icon moments this week, and I think you will see a pretty good period, a good area to watch for panic selling on you know a day where there's some pretty hype content. People are still trying out these brand new cards, especially ones that got big upgrades, that have good stats, different cards from last year. Keep an eye on these moments icons because they will be good to trade. Wow, that was a really low. 133 for this baby Rio. This guy's usually like 145 on the weekend. So that's, you know, you're going to be able to trade with icons. You're going to be able to trade with these cards. This Odegaard was 700. Just, just to show you this, right? Watch these what if, item, what if items this week. This Odegaard, when you have a guy that scores a couple goals for, for their team, look at this. Look at the glow up, I guess you could say. He was 770, 790 at one point on PlayStation from being 600K. Went all the way back down, which is where I bought him here. Bounced back to 680 for a hot second, which where I, is where I sold him. And now he's back down to 600K with some supply. So these cards are going to be great to trade with this week as they have games. Of course, Smalling today, last night, we shouted him at 720K. I said, hey, that's pretty low. This might go back up close to 800. With the game he had today, he went from 700K back to almost 800,000 coins. They did not keep a clean sheet and he has dropped off. But especially for these games that we have later in the week on Wednesday and Thursday, definitely keep an eye on some of those cards uh, as they could score some goals and they could rise up in price as they get closer to their upgrades. So I don't think I missed anything of this week. It's, it's honestly just going to be a week filled of, you know, Getting on the bids, right? Bids in the second half of the year are always OP. You hear me talking about them. These man of the match cards go out of packs. They're going to be very rare, all right? They're going to be very rare. They're going to be great to trade with. And trading with these what ifs, of course, on the bids. But the out of pack special cards in general are going to be pretty solid to trade with. Again, just, just remember that, you know, oh, wow, 1406. Is that getting bought? That is getting bought. All right. So this is getting bought at 1.4, which is where I had it. Uh, I, I still think this is going to be 1.5 in the next 24 hours, so I'll be able to get a sale there. But um, just, you know, use your knowledge from what you've learned over the past couple of weeks with trading these out of packs cards. People still like future stars, right? People still like future stars. Bastoni is down a good amount. Anthony is down. Um, this David was down at 122K earlier. These guys are still fluctuating. These are still pretty good cards that people want to use. So just look at the current informs. You know, some of these headliners that are potentially getting upgrades uh, this week. Uh, ones to watch bail. That's that's a card I need to mention. This guy's 162. Is that legit? Okay, no, he's not. It's 175. So bail looks to be getting an inform this week. He had two goals and an assist for my beloved Spurs over the weekend. This would be a card you probably would want to sell right up close to the upgrade. I know he's getting a plus two. His card's going to look nuts. But uh, this is heavily heavily invested in and also what you're going to have here is people who bought this bail card a really long time ago that just left it in their club because they saw the price go down so significantly i mean this guy used to be 200k right you're gonna have people that bought this card over here like 200,000 coins that have just held it in their club and they're, they've been waiting for him to, to score and now he's up to 175 they're gonna all sell when he gets the upgrade so i would just be very careful about this card when he gets the upgrade i feel like there's a lot of people investing in it so uh, he probably will, again, trickle back up until Wednesday. He's going to be in Team of the Week predictions. So that could be a card you maybe sell into the hype, I guess. But just a lot of stuff going on with packs, with the what-if cards, and with SPCs this week in terms of the SPC fodder. So th th those are the areas of the market that I would really focus on, right? I would really focus on those cards and SPC fodder, trading with that if you'd like to. Or if you want to be a bit different, look at icons, look at out-of-pack specials. It's just going to be one of those pack weeks on FIFA. I do expect some, you know, maybe not a party bag. That could be next week during Team 2. Um, but maybe some SBCs that are sort of like, you know, an 84 player pick. We've had that. That's in the code. They could drop that at any time or something like that we could see this week too. So that's the market outlook, man. Honestly, player of the month messy. More what if content, more SBCs, and a lot of upgrade packs. That's the... Uh, that's, that's the move for this week. Honestly, that's what I see happening this week. There's going to be great ways to make coins, though, as we explained. With less people on the game and more people focused on other areas of the game, the market's going to be ripe for picking. So just be prepared to make some coins if you want to. But that's the market outlook for this week. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.